Join Kids Hat Family. Good night, Tia. Good night, Tofu. Once upon a time there lived a lonely couple who only wished to have a child. They lived in a little house all on their own. At the back of the house there was a small little window from which a splendid garden could be seen. This garden was full of very beautiful flowers and herbs. No one dared to enter the garden as it belonged to a witch named Dame Gothel. One day the woman saw a plant called rampion which is used to make salads. Dear husband, I have a strong desire to have a salad made out of that plant. Oh, but that belongs to the wicked witch. Oh, please do something. I really want to eat those rampions. Okay, dear. I will try to get it for you. At midnight the husband climbed the wall into the garden of the witch and started taking some rampions The man took the rampion and his wife made a salad out of it and ate it But the very same night there was a knock on the door and the man knew something was wrong How dare you you men come into my garden and steal my rampions like a thief You will suffer for it Oh please forgive me My wife saw your rampions from the window and she wanted it so bad that I could not say no to her. Oh, if that's the truth, then I will let you have as many rampions as your wife wants, but only on one condition. What is that condition? You must give me the child which your wife will bring into this world. The man in his terror consented to everything As time passed by the couple gave birth to a beautiful little baby girl But that very same night the witch came to their door and took away the baby girl leaving the poor parents in complete sorrow You are such a beautiful looking girl I will name you Rapunzel and take care of you Ha <laughs> The witch kept her locked in a tower with no doors and stairs but just a small little window as the time passed by 
Rapunzel grew into a beautiful girl with very long golden locks. But her beauty went in vain because the cruel witch never allowed her to go anywhere. Sad Rapunzel just used to stand at the little window and sing sad songs. When the witch had to visit Rapunzel, she used to ask Rapunzel to let down her hair. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair to me. One day, when Rapunzel was standing at the window singing sad songs, mm -hmm, la, la, la. Mm -hmm. a very handsome prince was passing by. He stopped and looked here and there to see where this beautiful voice was coming from. Oh, what a beautiful song! Who is singing so beautifully? The prince noticed the beautiful voice coming from the tower. He wanted to climb the tower and looked for the door, but could not find one. He went back home in dismay. But Rapunzel's singing had touched his heart so much that every day he started going to the forest to listen to Rapunzel's songs. One day, he was standing behind the tree when he saw the witch coming. And he heard what she said. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair to me. Then Rapunzel let down her long beautiful hair And the witch climbed up the tower. Oh, that's the way to climb up to the tower. I shall do the same. The next day, when it began to grow dark, he went to the tower. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let your hair down to me. Immediately the hair fell down and the prince climbed up. Oh, who are you? Oh Lord, you are the most beautiful maiden that I have ever seen in my life. I have lost my heart to you. Will you marry me? Will you be my wife and live with me in my kingdom? Oh, my prince, I wish that was possible. But the witch won't let me go out of this tower. And if she comes to know about you, she will kill you. I don't care. You are coming with me now. Come on, let's go. Oh, prince, I am ready to go away with you. 
but I do not know how to get down. If I let down my hair, then how will I get down? You are right. Mm. You have to go now. The witch will come soon. Yes. Don't worry, Rapunzel. I will think of something and come back tomorrow. That moment when the prince was climbing down the tower, the witch saw him. Oh, so he wants to take Rapunzel away. They both will have to pay for this. The witch climbed the tower after asking Rapunzel to let down her hair. You treacherous girl! How could you even think of betraying me? You shall pay for this! The witch took a big pair of scissors and chopped off her long beautiful tresses. Rapunzel was left all alone in the desert by the witch to live in grief and misery. Meanwhile, the prince returned the next evening to take Rapunzel away. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. The wicked witch let down the long braid that she had chopped off from Rapunzel's hair and the prince climbed the tower without knowing what danger was awaiting him. When the prince was about to enter the window, the wicked witch chopped off the braid just to see the prince fall off the tower into the thorny bushes under the tower. The prince started bleeding from his eyes as the thorns blinded him completely. <laughs> the witch cast a spell on the prince. And he wandered in woods around the world without any sight and survived in poor conditions. Meanwhile, the prince roamed about in misery for two years and finally he got to the desert where Rapunzel was left by the witch. He suddenly heard the beautiful, sad voice of his beloved and started shouting in excitement. That voice! That voice! Is it you, Rapunzel? Is it really you? He went towards it and when he approached, Rapunzel said, Oh Prince, you finally found me! I missed you so much! I am so happy to see you that I can't stop crying. Two of her tears fell on his eyes and they grew clear again and he could see with them as before. I can see again. Oh my sweet Rapunzel. What have they done to us? Let's go back to my kingdom. He took her to his kingdom. After a year, Rapunzel gave birth to a pretty little baby girl who looked just like her. And they lived happily ever after. Get up, Tofu, or you'll get late for school. 
Get up, Tofu. Hmm. Ha. <sighs> Tia, you? <laughs> what happened? That. That was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, I know. That was me in your dream. Now get up and get ready. You know, my friend John stays with his cousins. Yesterday, he came late to the class and the teacher scolded him a lot. John said his cousin brothers made him finish their course before they let him leave for school. He said they always trouble him and make him do a lot of housework. Oh no! He must feel really bad. John is a very nice boy. He doesn't disobey anyone. He is very nice to his cousin brothers, despite the way they treat him. That is very nice of him. We should always forgive people for their mistakes. Have you heard the story of Cinderella? Once upon a time, there lived a young girl called Cinderella. Cinderella's mother had died, and so her father had married another woman who had two daughters. One day, Cinderella's father went to work. And never returned. Cinderella was left at the mercy of her stepmother and two stepsisters, who made her do all the work of the house. Cinderella, it's morning already. Where is our breakfast? Just a moment, stepmother. I am just bringing it out. As soon as Cinderella had laid the breakfast, the stepmother and stepsister started eating it. Cinderella served her own plate too, and was about to eat when her stepsister pushed her own plate away. Yuck! I hate it. Yes, now that you mention it, it really is horrible. Mother, do something. Cinderella, are you trying to kill us? What kind of food is this? But, but stepmother, I have made it the way I always make it. How dare you argue with me? Go and make new breakfast for us. Don't you dare do anything else till we have had our breakfast. This is what went on in their house every day. The stepmother and stepsisters troubled Cinderella without any reason, but Cinderella loved them still and never ever complained. One day, an announcement was made in the village. Let everybody know, there will be a royal ball at the palace tomorrow night and the king's son, Prince Charming, 
will marry a maiden from amongst the guests. Everybody from the village is invited. The whole village was excited. Even Cinderella's stepmother and stepsisters couldn't stop talking about it in the house. And that is how Cinderella found out about the ball. The royal ball! Prince Charming! The whole village is invited! I will finish my work quickly so we can all go together. Won't it be just wonderful? You! Who said anything about you going? You will stay here and polish our shoes till you can see your face in them. And so with a heavy heart, Cinderella saw her stepmother and stepsisters dress up and leave for the royal ball the next day. Once they had left, she cried bitterly. <laughs> Suddenly, her room lit up. And Cinderella saw the most beautiful fairy she could imagine. She held in her hand a delicate wand. Who are you? Get up, child. I am your fairy godmother. I am here to get you to the royal ball. Really? I never knew I had a fairy godmother. But how will I get to the ball? I don't have anything to wear. You don't worry about that, my child. And so, in just a few minutes, Cinderella was ready for the royal ball. As she thanked her fairy godmother and got aboard the chariot, she received a word of caution from the fairy godmother. Remember to be back home at 12, otherwise the spell will wear off. Soon Cinderella arrived at the palace. As she entered the great ballroom, everyone turned to look who this beautiful maiden was. Nobody could recognize her. Not even her own stepmother and stepsisters. Prince Charming walked to her. May I have this dance with you? Yes, Your Highness. And so Cinderella and Prince Charming danced together throughout the evening. Till Cinderella heard the clock strike. 
Fairy Godmother's words came back to her. She needed to get out of there before the clock struck 12. Without saying a word, she tore away from the princess's grasp and ran out of the palace. The prince ran after her. Wait, wait! What is wrong? Why are you running? I don't even know your name. But Cinderella dared not wait or even look back. Her beautiful gown was already turning into rags again. Her hair was coming loose from the perfect bun that the fairy godmother had made for her. She didn't even stop when one of the glass slippers came off her foot and fell in the palace driveway. She ran out of the palace gates and vanished into the darkness on a path that led to her home. Once home, she went back to polishing the shoes that had been given to her and decided never to speak to anyone about the ball. A few days later, two men from the palace showed up at their door. The lady that Prince Charming fell in love with left behind her glass slipper at the royal ball. The prince believes that such a beautiful slipper could fit only his beloved. And so we're asking all the girls in the village to try the slipper. The one whom it fits would be the one the prince will marry. If you have any girls in the house, please ask them to try the slipper. Oh, yes, yes. I am sure it was one of my daughters. The slipper would fit one of them. And so both the stepsisters tried to fit their foot into the slipper one by one. and push but couldn't get their foot in. Looks like it wasn't your daughter's after all. Is there any other young lady in the house? No, there isn't. You can leave. As the king's men made ready to leave, suddenly the door of the house was thrown open. And Prince Charming himself stood there. Who is this beautiful girl in the upstairs window? Madam, you have lied to us. I demand that the girl be called forth and try the slipper. Y yes, yes, but she is only a servant girl. Nevertheless, Cinderella, Cinderella, come down here at once. Yes, stepmother. The moment Prince Charming saw Cinderella, he knew he had found his beloved. He took the slipper from the king's man and slipped it on to her foot himself. The slipper fit perfectly in a moment. Cinderella was once again transformed into the beautiful maiden from the night of the ball. Prince Charming took her to the palace with him. He ordered that the stepmother and stepsisters be 
punished for lying to the king's men and treating Cinderella so badly and rudely. But being the kind-hearted person that she was, Cinderella asked for them to be forgiven. The prince fell in love with her even more for her generosity and they lived happily ever after. Wow, Tia! How wonderful is it to forgive people? Thank you for telling me this story. I will tell it to John too. I'm sure he will like it. Okay, shall we go home now? I think it's getting late. long to read. Can you please tell me some interesting story? Why not Tofu? Let me tell you a story about a princess and a bad fairy. A long time ago, there lived a king and a queen. They wished for a child for a very long time. After a long, long wait, their wish came true. A beautiful girl was born to the king and queen. We are blessed with a baby princess and her name is Sunshine. Hooray! said the people. As the baby girl turned one, celebrations began all around. A big party had to be planned. We must invite all the fairies. Yes, we must call them all. But not the black fairy. She is mean. She is bad. The party was a lot of fun. The baby princess looked lovely. All fairies brought with them some precious gifts and blessed the little princess to be a clever and kind girl. Suddenly, the castle was filled with blue smoke and nobody could see anything. As soon as the blue smoke settled, King and Queen were shocked to see the Black Fairy. She saw that a beautiful celebration was organized and everyone from the kingdom was invited for the feast, including all fairies. She became very angry for not being invited and that's why she cursed the baby princess. On your 16th birthday, before the sun sets, you'll prick on a spindle and die. She screamed in anger and vanished. Everybody was shocked. Suddenly, a young fairy, who had not yet given her blessings, 
to the little princess said I can't take away the black fairy's curse but I'll definitely try to help When the princess pricks herself she won't die instead she'll go into a deep sleep and shall only awaken with a kiss from a prince who loves her After this the king ordered to destroy all spindles and needles from the kingdom Soon there were no sharp things in the castle except for one they didn't check in the tower As years passed by the baby grew under supervision of fairies and turned out to be a very beautiful young girl When she turned 16 while roaming in the castle one day she saw a magical light ball and followed the light ball which took her to the top of the tower in the castle inside there was an old woman bent over a spinning wheel come here You must try spinning the wheel. Oh, what is this? Please let me do it as well. I have never tried this. But the minute she touched the needle of the spindle, she fell to the ground. Fairy's curse had come true. Old woman, who was actually the black fairy, laughed and laughed, and then disappeared. The king, who remembered the words of the last fairy, made her daughter the princess. to lie in a room for many years to come Fairy saw the princess sleeping and everyone thought that she was extremely beautiful They all said at once Sleeping beauty Soon This name became popular in town and everyone started to mention princess as the sleeping beauty. The whole kingdom was sad. Fairies noticed this and decided, let the whole kingdom fall asleep. So when the princess wakes up by her prince she wouldn't be alone everyone in the kingdom fell asleep the king the queen the servants soldiers everyone in town fell asleep even all the animals fell asleep everything in the kingdom stopped Soon a thick forest grew around the castle and hid it About hundreds of years later a handsome prince was riding through the forest 
he saw the strange looking castle. The accompanying soldiers told the prince that this is the castle of the Sleeping Beauty. He had heard stories of Sleeping Beauty and started to explore it. He was surprised to see everybody in the castle sleeping. When he entered more, he saw even the king and queen were sleeping. He looked around and saw one big pink door. He tried to open the door but it was difficult to open as it was closed for so many years. After trying hard, he managed to open the door and to his surprise, he found Sleeping Beauty lying on a beautiful bed in that room. The moment he saw her, he just fell in love with her. I really want to know who this beautiful girl is. She looks so, so gentle and peaceful, he said. He leaned down and kissed her. Instantly, the kiss lifted the spell and the princess woke up. The king, queen and all the people and animals in the kingdom were awake again. The kingdom was full of joy and there were celebrations all around. The prince and the princess soon got married and lived happily ever after. Wow! It means no matter if bad people think bad for you, there are always some well-wishers to help you out. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.